final exhibits demo, uh, where we're going to be demoing some uh, features that we've uh, completed in, during this past uh, work cycle. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is a feature called bulk updates. So uh, bulk updates is a feature that allows um, exhibit curators to um, update um, items um, in their exhibit in a bulk way uh, using a CSV file. So they have a couple different options. They can change the visibility um, of an item. So, you know, if they want to change the visibility of a lot of different items, they can do that. Or um, they also have the ability to uh, add or remove tags. So I'm going to show an example of this. Um, so here's my exhibit, Animals of SDR. And um, I have only 14 items in this exhibit, but um, you know we'll be able to kind of see how the bulk uh, updates work. And to start working on the bulk updates, I navigate to the exhibit dashboard. And then down here under curation, I have bulk updates. I click that and I have some uh, instructions here that kind of give me uh, understanding of how it's used. And I can um, then click download CSV. And here I'm presented with some options. Um, of whether I want to uh, add some reference fields uh, to the CSV, so I kind of know the title, and um, you know, and then select the updatable fields, uh, visibility or tags, and and I'm just going to select uh, visibility for simplicity's sake here, and I'm going to go ahead and download that CSV file, and it's going to save for me here in my downloads, and now I have the CSV file. And I could open this up in my favorite CSV editor of choice. And for me, I want to just open it up in the text editor so we can kind of see what's going on. But if I open this up in Excel or you know Google Drive, uh, something similar will work. And I think we've shown in our past demos, we see the item ID here, uh, which for uh, stand for digital, digital repository content, it's, it's Druid. Um, and then I also see that the title here for kind of, uh, you know, as kind of a useful mechanism to, um, you know, to kind of just, you know, reference what's going on. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, I could go mark individually items um, as a uh, private, but I actually just want to, um, I actually just want to uh, do it here. So I'm going to remove visibility true from the items that I want to mark as private. So I want to make moose art private. I want to make cats private. I want to make dog act chasing a frisbee private. And I want to make this other cats private here. So um, you know I I can save this file now, and I could upload re-upload it, um, which would totally work fine. Um, but I'm going to do a, you know, kind of a, a, a feature here of this, uh, this uh, new feature is I can actually remove the item, the lines where I'm not updating them. And while I could leave these lines in here and it would completely be fine by removing them, it'll process a little bit faster. Now with only 14 items, that's not going to make a big difference, but, you know, with 10,000, 15,000, 100,000 items, that would probably make a big difference. I can totally update all the, all the lines if I wanted to. Uh, so if I wanted to make the entire, um, the entire exhibit uh, public or private, I could, I could do that. But by removing the lines that I'm not going to update, it just makes everything a little bit quicker. So I'm going to save the file now. And then I'm going to go over here and click Upload CSV. And I'm going to upload that CSV there. Click Upload. And it says it was uploaded successfully. And it said it began processing. And then in the same second, it completed. It was only four items, so it was probably really quick. So for the sake of demo, um, now I can go to my search results. And hopefully, if we did this right, we can see now our four items are private. 
And um, that's really awesome. So these are my two cats items, my dog act chasing a Frisbee and my moose heart. So um, those processed asynchronously in the background using our new bulk updates pattern. So um, uh, that's it for bulk updates. I, uh, I do wanna kind of show something very uh, similar and related um, is a new feature called uh, rename tags. So previously you had this tag, uh, curation tag page where you could delete a tag. We've, we've now actually added the ability to, um, you know, rename a tag here. So for example, I have four items that are tagged as cats, two items that are tagged as farm animals, and five items that are items that are tagged as dog. So, um, Maybe I want to rename dog to dogs here because I'm using plural tags everywhere else. I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it, but just for consistency, I wanna rename this. And so I'm gonna rename dog to dogs. Uh, I've updated that editing and now I'm gonna click save changes. And it gives me a little message and I'm renaming one tag. So, now, hopefully when I go and um, search here and I click on exhibit tags, it will, it'll update to my dogs tag. So let's see what's going on here with one of the items here. And oh, there it is. So it's, it's there now, it just hasn't been re-indexed yet. So we'll click save and it should update and index for me. So those are the two new features, um, uh, bulk updates and rename tags. I wanna kick it over to Gary to talk about some other things. Thanks, Jack. I'm going to talk about a few uh, related updates we've made. Um, that have to do with the um, item row widget and the uploaded item row widget. Uh, so here I have an example page. Um, up top here I have an example of an item row widget with three, three items. So these are um, exhibit items that are uh, indexed into the exhibit. And then below that I have an uploaded item row widget with three items um, because these are an uploaded item uh, row widget these are items that I've just um, manually updated for the purposes of this uh, feature page, you know, to decorate um, a narrative that might be um, going on on this page. So until recently, um, we only had, we had this option for, this is the, the configuration for an um, item row widget. This is the one for exhibit items. Um, and you'll see here, we have this option called display zipper link. And that is what uh, produces this button here uh, that says show in zipper viewer. Uh, the problem with this, um, well, there's a couple of problems with this. Uh, one is the label itself. Um, the zipper, ZPR, uh, that stands for zoom, pan, and rotate. Uh, but one issue with that is I don't think most users really understand that ZPR stands for zoom, pan, and rotate. And then if we open uh, the actual uh, viewer here, um, you'll notice that we can zoom and we can pan, but we can't actually rotate. There's no uh, control for that. So in other words, this label was just a really poor label for this actual feature. Um, and then, you know, bringing up this, this viewer, you can also see um, there's just some problems with the, the viewer itself. It's really just lacking in a good user experience. It's very small. Um, it gives the user a little bit bigger view of the, the image, but there's a lot of browser real estate here that, that we're not using for this viewer. And the whole purpose of this feature is to um, enable the user to get a closer look at the image without having to navigate to the item detail page. Uh, so that, that was our major problem. And then another related issue was you'll see here below in the uploaded item row widget, uh, we don't have this show and viewer um, 
uh, button. And that's because here in the um, configuration for the uploaded item widget, you'll see we don't have that same uh, option for display zipper link. So those were the, the things we wanted to address uh, with this feature. And uh, here's the current uh, version of the feature. And you'll see uh, here in the um, exhibit item uh, configuration, uh, we now label this uh, as offer view larger option. Um, and if I go down here to the uploaded item widget, you'll see now we actually offer that there as well. And as a result, when we um, go to the page with these widgets uh, configured, you'll see the, the button has changed uh, to a simpler label that just says view larger, uh, probably makes a little more sense to the user. Uh, and uh, you'll see we often offer that for the uploaded item widget as well. And then finally, um, we've improved the actual user experience of the viewer itself by making it much larger um, improve the, the buttons, the zoom, in, the zoom and zoom out buttons. Um, but the main thing is just making, using the real estate of the, the, the available real estate so that the user can really take advantage of the, this, the intent of this feature, which is, hey, I wanna see a little bit more detail uh, quickly without having to navigate to the item detail page. And so now they can, they can bring that up and zoom and pan around um, and they also have the option to do that with the, the uploaded items. Uh, so some minor, but um, we think uh, useful improvements to this, this feature. And that was it for that feature. And now I'm going to turn it over to Camille. Okay. Uh, so I'm here to talk about two bits of work. Uh, so through movie magic, I will insert a clip of the not working masonry view in here. But uh, we were able to fix a recent regression in masonry view in Spotlight. So this affects you know, both our local users and um, upstream consumers of Spotlight. Um, so you can see Formerly, we were only getting one column of images. We now get a spread of uh, about three images here of various heights. So I also want to talk about a new exhibit user role that we've added. So you can see here, I have an unpublished exhibit. You can go to my users and we now have a new role uh, a viewer role. So this is great if you are collaborating with other, other users at Stanford and uh, they will see um, the uh, same thing that a user would see on a published exhibit. So uh, they have access to that and it restricts their access to the admin panel. So you don't need to worry about um, I'm accidentally editing uh, items in the exhibit. And just uh, one more note, this uh, only applies to uh, SUNET users for uh, external collaborators. Please get in touch with the service team. All right, well, that's all we have. We'll see you next week. <laughs>